Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice square root math problem, which is the square root of 400 divided by 20 minus square root of 399. So let's provide a solution from here. So we have the square root of 400 divided by 20 subtract square root of 399. So the first step to do here is to introduce, a cut, that is to rationalize the denominator here by introducing a conjugate, which is 20 plus the square root of 399. Let's multiply this conjugate also in the numerator here. So it's 400 times 20 plus square root of 399. So now here we have the square root of 400 multiplied by 20 plus square root of 399 divided by now if you check here 20 minus square root of 399 this is in the form of a minus b and this is in the form of a plus b whereby a minus b times a plus b this is actually a squared minus b squared this is the difference of two perfect squares so here in the denominator we have 20 squared minus square root of 399 raised to the power of 2. So here we have the square root of 400 multiplied by 20 plus the square root of 399 divided by 20 squared. This is 400 minus. Now we can eliminate the square root sign here so that we have 400 minus 399. And therefore, here we have the square root of 400 multiplied by 20 plus square root of 399. Everything here divided by 400 minus 399, which is 1. The next step is that we have the square root of 400. This is now the square root of 400 multiplied by 20 plus square root of 399. Now, we have that the square root of 400 times 20 plus square root of 399, this is in the form of square root of A multiplied by B, and this can be expressed as square root of A times square root of B. Applying this property, then here we have the square root of 400 multiplied by square root of 20 plus square root of 399. Now we have that the square root of 400, this is equal to 20, multiplied by square root of 20 plus square root of 399. Now here we have 20 multiplied by the square root of now, 1 is common here, so we can factor out 1 so that we have 1 into the parentheses. This is 20 plus square root of 399 cross the parentheses. So we can express this 1 as 2 divided by 2. So this means we have 20 times the square root of 2 over 2 multiplied by 20 plus square root of 399. And this implies that we have 20 multiplied by square root of 2 into the parentheses. This is 20 plus the square root of 399. Everything here divided by 2. So let's open the parentheses in so that we have 20 times the square root of 2 times 20. This is 40. Then plus 2 times square root of 399, this is 2 square root of 399, everything here divided by 2. The next step is that we have 20 times the square root of, we can express 40 as 21 plus 19, then plus 2, multiplied by square root of 399, which is the square root of 21 times 
19. Everything here divided by 2. Now, we have that the square root of a raised to the power of 2. This is the same thing as a. Now, applying this property, then we have that the square root of 21 raised to the power of 2. This is the same thing as 21. We also have that the square root of 19 raised to the power of 2. This is the same thing as 19. So let's substitute this here back to the equation. So we have 20 multiplied by square root of square root of 21 raised to the power of 2 plus the square root of 19 raised to the power of 2 then plus 2 multiplied by square root of 21 times 19 everything here divided by 2 now the square root of 21 to the power of 2 plus square root of 19 to the power of 2 plus 2 times square root of 21 times 19 this is in the form of a squared plus b squared plus 2ab which we can express as a plus b raised to the power of 2. So applying this algebraic identity, then we have 20 times the square root of, this is square root of 21 plus square root of 19, everything here raised to the power of 2, then divided by 2. The next step is that the square root of 21, the square root of 21 plus square root of 19 to the power of 2 over 2, this is in the form of square root of a over b, which we can express as square root of a over square root of b. Now applying this property, then we have 20 times the square root of square root of 21 plus square root of 19, everything here raised to the power of 2, then divided by square root of 2. Now this implies that we can simplify here, we eliminate the square root sign, so that we have 20 times, now this is square root of 21, plus square root of 19, everything here, divided by square root of 2. The next step is to rationalize the denominator here, by multiplying puts that is the denominator by square root of 2 and also the numerator here by square root of 2 so that now here we have 20 square root of 2 into the parentheses this is square root of 21 plus square root of 19 everything here square root of 2 times square root of 2 this is equal to 2 so we can simplify here 20 divided by 2 this is 10. So we have 10 square root of 2 into the parentheses. This is the square root of 21 plus square root of 19. Now, we have 10 square root of 2 times 21 here plus square root of 19. So we can express this as 10 into the parentheses. This is the square root of 2 times square root of 21 then plus square root of 2 times square root of 19. So that now, here we have 10 into the parentheses, square root of 2 times square root of 21, this is square root of 42, then plus square root of 2 times square root of 19, this is the square root of 38. Now, we have that the square root of 42 this is the same thing as 6.4807. And we have that the square root of that 8. This is the same thing as 6.1644. So substituting this here, we have 10 into the parentheses. This is 6.4807, then plus 6.1644. And this implies that we have 10 multiplied by 6.4807 plus 6.1644. This is 12.6451. So 10 times 
five one. This is equal to one twenty six point four five one, and this is the solution to this square root math problem. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video, and kindly subscribe. Like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.